Hello figure fans, Gil the Gilness here from AFCollectors.com. Time for yet another awesome AF review. Today, taking a look at the McFarlane Toys Marvel. Yes, McFarlane Toys and Marvel posed figure of Spider-Man. So these are supposed to be figures, action figures, but they're not really action. They're, as the name says, posed. So they are figures, but they're in a static pose, more of a statue. If you really want to get technical, they are kind of statues. But they capture some of the most famous covers that have been out in Marvel from over the years. This one I had to have because this particular pose, this particular style of Spider-Man is from one of my absolute favorite covers of all time. And it's not that one that they show you on the front here. That's just the comic that comes with it. The cover it references is Spider-Man 301, where Spider-Man returns to the classic blue and red costume. Previously had the Venom black and white costume, which I kind of hope maybe McFarlane will do another version of this with Spider-Man 300 with the black costume in this pose, because it's very possible you could do it, I guess fairly easily. But this is it, this is what I've been waiting for. I love the pose, I love the look the way Todd drew Spider-Man with the webbing. It's even got that McFarlane Spider-Man webbing to it. Again, it comes with this comic book here, which I don't know why it doesn't come with Spider-Man 301, but it doesn't make much sense. But uh, this is, of course, again, based off of Spider-Man 301, the pose, the cover. And uh, just to take a quick look on the side here, Again, that's the book that it comes with, and that's Spider-Man 302. Yeah, I'm not sure. But, uh, and that's the cover again. And then, of course, on this side, it's just uh, kind of a side view of the figure. Or the statue, or whatever you want to call it. So, kind of on the fence here about taking this one out of the package. The packaging's kind of cool, but I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like and displays like out of the package. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it just yet, but I did wanna show you guys at least what these are all about, what they look like. Uh, there's actually smaller versions. This is this is a larger scale. Uh, I think it's like more of a seven inch type of scale. Um, there's a smaller, I'm gonna guess five inch. I don't remember the ratio or the, uh, the inch or the scale, but there's there's this size, which is the bigger one, and then there's a bit of a smaller scale of these Marvel posed figures. You'll see them out there. One of them's obviously more expensive than the other, because these are larger, uh, but there's a whole bunch of them out there. Captain America is one of the larger ones. I think Deadpool is one of the smaller ones. There's a smaller version of uh, Spider-Man as well, and a whole bunch more coming out that uh, we just saw revealed from McFarlane not too long ago uh, from the date of this video. So there you go. The McFarlane Toys Marvel posed figure of Spider-Man from The Amazing Spider-Man number 301, one of my favorites.